Well, at the top of the broadcast, uh, we brought you news of the uh, third day of uh, the massive military drills being carried out uh, in Iran South. To tell us more uh, about the maneuvers, we're now joined by uh, Iran Air Force spokesman Brigadier General Ali Hossein Chifu, who is joining us on the line from just in southern Iran. General, it's great to have you with us. Please tell us about the drills that are being carried out today. Please tell us about the drills that I'm Brigadier General uh, Hossein Chitfurush, the spokesman for the Iranian Air Force. Over the past few days, what have we done? Uh, what has been the role of the Air Force? Let me uh, tell you about the past few days, what we have done. The Muhammad Rasulullah drills stretches a wide uh, span of land. It covers more than 2.2 million square kilometers of area, or 850,000 square miles. This, these maneuvers are being held jointly between different units of the army and uh, including the area uh, air air force naval forces and ground forces given the experience uh, that Iran has gained over the eight years during the Iraqi imposed war and also the operations conducted by the air force uh, plus uh, other experiences during the, the war and uh, also given the experience that we have gained from the wars which have been conducted around our country, this uh, these maneuvers have been planned based on those experiences. Different units have been tasked with different pos uh, responsibilities and the units have been coordinated and organized because during the eight-year Iraqi imposed war, uh, we learned that any operation which is held through the unity of the different units of the armed forces, that operation was most successful. And so based on that, we are carrying out these drills. That, Therefore, part of these drills, which are, are is being con which was conducted by the Air Force, it include area included aerial reconnaissance over the waters, uh, being carried out by uh, our planes at different altitudes. Uh, airplane P3F w took part in this drill. It co it covers the area from the Strait of Hormuz up to the Sea of Oman. That's why this area, uh, our vessels and also submarines, uh, actually whatever was there was being detected and intercepted in that area and the data was sent back to mobile information centers. So. Uh, so part of the drills includes uh, the operations by the Air Force, and which includes aerial reconnaissance over the sea. As for the actually, and it ca it ca it covers part of our experience, and it can they can hone their skills, and uh, there are the, uh, everything is warlike in the dr during the drills and the operations. Uh, it is called tactical airlift method. Ta the tactical airlift method is also being practiced in the minimum possible time. So it is uh, actually in the very sh in a very short time the troops were deployed in the area. Uh, so the air force of the the Iranian air force uh, through the tactical airlift method took part in the drills. However, Peter air defense that is air defense another technique was also practiced by different aircraft including F14 it, it could, the aircraft covered a wide aerial cover uh, for the navy naval forces and it cover another part of the maneuvers involves air force and the the air force uh, part of the air force must play the role of the 
mock enemy in these maneuvers. So a number of tech Tactical aircraft should play the role of the enemy aircraft, mock enemy, and they should be able to use the principle of surprise and enter the war. This, on the other hand, a number of other aircraft of the Air Force, they must confront these mock aircraft through air defense. Uh, first rec reconnoiter the area and detect them. And uh, friendly aircraft are supposed to confront mock enemy aircraft to repel the threats posed by them. And then we will be witnessing an air combat in the uh, area. And that is another part of the war games. Friend and foe will be witnessed in this area, a drill. Another part of the drill, another part of the operations to be conducted by air force is the close air support, close air support tech tactic. The Air Force personnel need to always be there present over the other combat troops so that they can cover air defense for them. They can cover other units operating and they will be, should be able to uh, bombard uh, predetermined targets and these bombardments should be very precise and on time and they should be able to hit the targets on time. So the Air Force plays a number of roles. This air cover which has been provided for the uh, troops involved in the war games and they are being conducted actually. However, and, uh, the data and the information are analyzed every day uh, in order to use them for later and for next stages of the maneuvers. The, cre the establishment of mobile tactical stations on land in the sea in a special position. This is another part of the drills and part of and our troops, our active troops will take part in that uh, to practice if should our troops come under attack by the enemy, then uh, the backup systems will be there to and also our tactical mobile stations will go into action to confront the enemy threat so that we will be able to maintain our preparedness to offer close air defense for our troops. And aerial actually uh, aerial images will be taken of the area so that we will uh, reconnoiter the area and keep a close watch on the movements to cover defense for surface and subsurface troops. A number of missiles and bombs and also aircraft will also be tested. Some systems which have been domestically renovated and developed and they have been installed on missiles. Some missiles have been renovated and uh, over the past year and they will be tested during these drills to see what the outcome has been so that we can use the experience to be used in the forthcoming maneuvers as well. Whatever we have at hand, whatever potential we have, including different types of planes, and also using new techniques and domestically developed tactics, we are using them. Maybe in terms of figures and numbers, uh, there are not so many. But when it comes to actually, it is what is important is that we should be able to make the most of whatever we have and make the most of everything in the battlefield and make the most of it. The purpose of the maneuvers is to actually to make the most of whatever we have available to us, in actually the systems and parts which have been built by our experts and all that. But they have been improved, some systems which have been improved and all that, they are being used. Another objective 
is that, well, most of the things, most of the management work and the commanding work, uh, uh, they have been done by the third generation of the revolution, actually by young people, by young troops, especially those in the Air Force. Our pilots are of the newest generation, they are young ones, and uh, so that we will be able to transfer our experience to the younger generation, the experience that we have gained so far. We will be able to transfer that experience to the younger generation in the best way possible. And maybe a question is raised, and the question would be why why does this trail cover such a vast expanse of area? We pose no threat whatsoever to any Muslim or regional country, to any country. We are a country which came, was under attack for eight years. So we reserve the right to always be prepared and to uh, use uh, domestically developed equipment to be prepared to serve the nation so that we will be able to, if need be, we will be able to use them. Perhaps uh, actually, uh, so if we feel, maybe there's a question that has Iran felt that it, it has come under a threat or not? No, never. We are the safest and most secure country in the world. We are the most peaceful country in the world. We have not felt any threat whatsoever. The only reason for holding these drills is that we just want to maintain our preparedness and be able to use whatever we have available to us in, if need be. And Iran is the most stable country around the world. And we just want to use, make the most of whatever we have, and we want to hone our skills and train our younger generation so that they will be able to uh, defend the system and the revolution. If there is any more question, I will be here to answer. Thank you very much. That was Iran Air Force Spokesman Brigadier General Ami Hossein Cheat Furush. Sir, thank you for your time.